U.S. Army next generation of the M1A3 Abrams main battle tank. The U.S. Army deployed its next generation Abrams tank known as the M1A3 in combat in mid-2020. Army officials have said they plan to keep the latest iteration of the long-serving M1A1 and M1A2 tank in service until 2050. New Features of the Abrams Tank The M1A3 Abrams is outfitted with a number of enhancements over previous versions. To make it lighter and more mobile, the Army replaced the M256 smoothbore gun with a lighter 120mm cannon, added road wheels and an improved suspension system, installed a more durable track, used lighter armor, and inserted precision armaments capable of hitting targets from 12 km and addition of an infrared camera and laser detector. The Abrams tank upgrade includes two powerful variants, the M1A2 and the M1A3 version. The M1A2 is an upgrade version of the basic M1A1 model with the goal to produce older units to zero hour conditions. The M1A2 tanks will be configured with additional mission critical technologies to bolster crew situational awareness. This situational awareness package increases the M1A2 Abrams tank's fighting capability by providing soldiers with an electronic graphic of the battlefield with icons for friendly and enemy forces. These upgrades enhanced the Abrams design features and make the tank more effective in armored ground warfare and urban environments. The Army had announced plans to retire the Abrams tank and replace it with the XM1202 mounted combat system, a more compact and lightweight tank. But the Department of Defense cancelled the program in April 2009 during a round of budget cuts. Evolution of the Abrams over 30 years The first Abrams tank called the M1 entered service in 1980. It is named after General Creighton Abrams, who served as commander of U.S. military forces in Vietnam from 1968 to 1972. Two other generations of the Abrams tank have been brought into military service over the past 30 years the M1A1 and the M1A2. Nearly 2,000 M1A1 versions of the tank were stationed in Saudi Arabia as part of Operation Desert Storm. After the 1991 Gulf War, the Abrams tank was upgraded to the M1A2 model and deployed to Bosnia and throughout the Middle East. The tank has been effective due to its firing accuracy, strong armored shell, and durability in harsh desert environments but it was still a heavy tank that was not easy to mobilize quickly. The most recent previous version of the tank was equipped with weapons that include the M256 smoothbore gun, a 50 caliber M2 HP machine gun, and smoke grenade launchers. The tank also uses gas turbine engines. Despite its achievements, the Abrams was criticized for its size and weight. At almost 70 tons, the tank proved difficult to transport by air into foreign combat zones. It was incapable of crossing most bridges. The Army sought to rectify these problems with the new M1A3 version of the Abrams, which is lighter and more maneuverable than previous generations. U.S. allocated funding for further upgrades to the Abrams tank in 2014, directing roughly $120 million for upgrades to make it more fuel efficient, and implementing auxiliary power that would reduce the amount of time the tank's engine sits in idle mode. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.